What's up everybody? I'm Hillbilly Dude and today we're talking about this Old Hickory Knife made by Ontario Knife Company. But before I get into this, I want to go over some of the history of Old Hickory that I've found and also of Ontario Knife Company. So Old Hickory Knives are a series or a line of knives that are made by Ontario Knife Company. This is the Model 75 8 inch slicer, but there's several other uh, models in the Old Hickory line. So this is something pretty cool that I have. Uh, my wonderful girlfriend happened to find this at a flea market. It says Old Hickory on it. Um, it's just a knife holder you can hang from the wall. And it's got a few different models of Old Hickories. Now, each one of these say Ontario Knife Company uh, branded on the, on the blade, except for this one. Now, this is the butcher style blade. And it says Shapley's Hammer Forged 1943 or 1843. This one, as well, even though it is the exact same model as the one I've got, the Model 75 Slicer, this is the same one, but it also says Shapley's Hammer Forge, 1843. This was my grandmother's knife. I don't know how long she's had this, but it, it was for decades before she passed away. So there's a little bit of a mystery behind the old hickory line and where it originated. Um, I had a hard time finding very much factual information I spent about an hour researching this because I wanted to know, um, and I still didn't get all the answers. So if there's anything I don't cover in this video that you happen to know about Old Hickory, just feel free to drop it in the comments and uh, let's all learn together. So here's where the mystery comes into play. When did Shapley's Hammer Forged, when did they start putting that on the blades? On the Ontario Knife Company website, it specifically says that in like, 1923 they, they had a new president or vice president or something of the company and that same year is when the uh, old hickory line started so the way they word it it makes it sound like ontario knife company came out with the very first old hickory knives uh in the 19 early 1920s now the ones that say shapely hammer forged which you can find these all over online this from my best research comes from a company that was like Shapley's Hardware or something like that, and it changed names uh, multiple times throughout the years, and it was in business up until about the 1960s. It started in 43, 1843, and it was a hardware store in St. Louis trying to capitalize on the Western expansion into the country, and uh, they made a lot of Old Hickory knives that are branded Old Hickory on the handle, but they don't say anything about Ontario Knife Company or the origins of where they were made or anything like that. So the question is, did they start stamping these with the Shapley's Hammer Forged stamp after Ontario Knife Company started the line in the 1920s? I've read a lot of anecdotal information online, uh, but I had a hard time finding anything that was factual with any kind of evidence to back it up. So I really don't know. There's a little bit of mystery there, but it'd be really interesting to find out where the origin of the old Hickory line actually started. I apologize for getting sidetracked. That's a whole different discussion for another day. Right now, what we're wanting to talk about is this Old Hickory made by Ontario Knife Company. This is a current modern version. I just bought this a few months ago at A.G. Russell's Knife Store in Rogers, Arkansas. So if you want to look them up, feel free to give them some business. Uh, they were very friendly, very helpful. They make their own knives, and they also deal a lot of other brands. The Ontario Knife Company was founded in 1889, and they have been producing quality American-made tools for over 125 years. According to their website, they started making old hickories in 1923 or 1924. This is the Model 75 8-inch slicing knife, uh, but you can get little paring knives, you can get butcher knives, boning knives. This is just the one that I was the most attracted to. The overall length is 12.8 inches or 32.5 centimeters. The blade length is 8.2 inches or 20.8 centimeters. Now on the package when I bought this, it just said high carbon steel. It wasn't specific on what kind, but on their website, they have it listed as 1075 high carbon. Although I have found other people online stating that it's 1095. Maybe there was a switch over where they used to use 1095 or something, but right now as of August, 2022, it says 1075 on their website. It has a Rockwell hardness of 57 to 59. So the handle's made out of hardwood, but again, they're not specific on what hardwood it is. Uh, with the name like Old Hickory, you would expect it to be Hickory handles, but I'm not sure that it is. 
I really don't know what, what wood they use. And this does not come with a sheath because it's obviously designed to be a kitchen knife or butcher style knife. So one really cool thing that I found when doing research on this was that you would associate Ontario Knife Company with being Canadian if you don't know any better. Um, but actually it originated in Naples, New York, which is in Ontario County. So that's where the name Ontario Knife Company came from. The thickness of the blade is actually really thin. This is obviously designed to be a kitchen knife or a butcher's knife. So it's not a heavy duty chopper. It's not uh, necessarily a survival knife or anything like that. It would be real heavy duty. It is very flexible. That's one advantage to it being thin is you get a lot of flex and it always retains its shape. I have not had any problem with this bowing and I flexed it pretty hard a few times. Um, now, I don't know where the breaking point is. I don't know how far you could actually get it before it breaks or, or it bends, but the only downside is that they rust very easily because of the high carbon steel. So if you use them for food prep or anything that has to do with moisture, uh, make sure that you wash it and oil it right away afterwards. Otherwise, they're, they're really prone to rusting. I bought this one recently. I paid about $13 for it in the store on the Ontario Knife Company website right now. They have them listed for $17, of course, because anything straight from the manufacturer's website is usually higher. So if you can track one of them, track one of these down online or retail, I would say you're going to be somewhere around the $13 to $15 mark, which is a whole lot of knife for just a little bit of money, in my opinion. So I've used this knife over the past few months for a lot of food prep. I've used it outside for bushcraft type stuff just to see how it would do in that aspect outside of the kitchen. And honestly, I'm not disappointed. I beat on it uh, quite a bit actually with a log, trying to baton it, uh, trying to make some feather sticks, a bunch of different stuff. And it's actually, it's held up really well. No problems with the edge rolling or any chips in the edge. No problem with warping the blade, even as thin as it is. Like I said, it's very springy, uh, good steel. The only thing, if you're gonna use this as a bushcraft knife, uh, you're definitely going to want to reshape the handle or at least refinish the handle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this video, but it's extremely rough textured. The fit and finish is nothing fancy. It has two brass compression rivets and some of the really old models, if you track this down, maybe some of the ones that say Shapely's Hammer Forge, um, they have three rivets. So there's some three pin models and most of them are two pin models like this one. But overall, you can see the fit and finish isn't great. It is full tang, um, but it's just, it's just, it's a kitchen knife. You know, they're not making these and selling them for, especially for 13 to $15 and marketing them as a heavy duty hunting or whatever, you know, field craft knife. So even though it has that kind of potential, and that's probably what I'm going to do with this is go ahead and reshape the handle, refinish it, oil this up nice and just keep using it uh, as often as possible outside of the kitchen. I really do need to get a sheath for this right now. While I was at AG Russell's shop, I bought this little blade safe case, pretty simple. It's got two little clips on it, hinges on the back. And basically you can fit a bunch of different styles and shapes of knives in here. Just put the edge towards the hinge, snap it in there. I'm sure you can find these online really cheap, but this is the way I've been carrying it. It won't pull out and it allows you to throw it in your backpack or whatever you're doing so you can transport it. I think that just about covers everything that I was wanting to talk about. These are American classics, uh, and I just I can't recommend them enough, especially for the price point, whether you want it for kitchen knife or for a kind of light duty bushcraft knife. Uh, you can't go wrong with one of these. And any one of these in the set, you could probably pick up for a couple bucks at a flea market if you keep your eyes open. They make excellent bushcraft knives. There's a ton of videos online of guys who have cut them down and made different stuff out of them. But they are quality knives and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.